last time, the stupid lot of you bore witness to something that could only be described as foul. The content was foul, the execution was foul, the response was foul, it was all just lackluster. And to make up for that, this is going to be equally as lackluster. However, I made a promise. Tune in next time when I go under a bridge and build part two of the castle. It's time to go on a journey, folks, and see what this foul experience has to offer. I didn't take into account how much walking there is when it comes to walking. This is how you're spending your time, choosing to watch this moron? The path I would choose would be simple. Take the nice, paved, civilized path meant for a human society, normal functioning people, or go down the unbeaten path where the meth heads used to run their drugs. I'd like to say I know what I'm doing when I'm recording videos, but I really don't. I just go along with it and see how it turns out. You could be worried for my safety. Uh, you might be thinking methods might jump out and attack me at any moment, but they're, they're more nocturnal creatures than anything else. They like to roam around in the night so they can avoid police. And since martial law was established back in 99, Peacekeepers are no longer around. Honestly, the biggest concern I have right now is that I'll run into one of the packs of dogs that roam these areas. Now it is time for Goldilocks rebranded. Too wet. It's a little too high. Uh, too rough. Too dark. Although, that is kind of nice. This area is a tad rocky. I think this will do. Building the Princess Chronicles Part 2. This motif with the whole gang sign behind me doesn't really fit me. I'm not that urban. I mean, I may seem like a punk mofo, but in all, all honesty, that's just not the case. I know I throw off those vibes. It's just, it's just not me. I should have just sat on my sitting bucket. I mean, that's why I brought it. Last time when we left off, we finished bag one. Now it's time to start on bag two. After the doll creature realized his mistake, he pondered on whether or not the oxygen in his system was going to waste, 
Maybe there were other animals out there that could put this precious, precious resource to better use. I can't quite recall what I mentioned last time, but I'm almost positive I at least thought this was probably the gayest LEGO set to review or the gayest LEGO review channel. I, one or the other. I did a little research to back up my statement that I may or may not be the gayest LEGO channel. I didn't find any of that, but I did find this video, which is a real treat. Technically, Robin literally just met Batman, okay? So he's talking to Batman over here, and he, he just met Batman, so he's already willing to get naked for Batman. He's already willing to get naked. What? And speaking of gay, I, 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 didn't, I didn't notice this until now, but right, right above me, there's a little thing that says bye. Here are your two little friends, figs. I'm starting to remember why I was putting this video off for so long. There's just nothing funny to say about this set, and I don't have anything to talk about. I, I can't believe I forgot that. Well, I, maybe maybe you all were wrong. Maybe the set isn't as bad as you thought. I'm I'm starting to like it. I really am. I mean, it's really really fun to look at and play with and build. I'm really enjoying it. Wait. Did you hear that? God.